able to revisit in case they felt the need of the same. So we start with uh, advanced Excel. So of course I hope you all use Excel in our day-to-day -day activities. So we are going ahead with introducing the Excel from the beginning till the law advanced session of the Excel up to recording macros etc. So Excel sheet viruses are generated using macros of Excel. So we can create viruses as well. About myself, uh, my name is Sri Raman as, the, as it is available in the PowerPoint. I am in this field for last 22 years. We are into uh, testing services. Right, Excel training, of course, we generally don't take, but there are a lot of people felt, yes, Excel is a day-to-day -day activities. Most of the people have to use Excel sheet, whether they are a testers or a developers, instead of in managing status reports, managing uh, customized reports, etc. So since there are a lot of requirements, so we thought, okay, we'll arrange a session on this as well. So with this we start with the course content. More about me you can see in link me. So you can put my name and you can see there. What are all the things that we are going to see in this Excel program? It's a 8 hours program. It's not 16 hours as it is published in the beginning because we don't have a 16 hours content for this. What we see in this Excel. So one is the basics, uh, spreadsheet basics. Mostly this everybody knows. Creating, editing, saving, working with functions and routines, formula. Graphically representing the data. Data menu, subtotal, filtering data. All these are menu informations. Mostly the first uh, today's session will be of related to menu. All the menus will explain in this. Some of the menus are not listed because the menu itself is huge. Then the second day will be of more of uh, formulas using uh, certain formulas inside the our Excel sheet. How to organize our Excel sheet, sorting, all those stuffs we'll be covering. So formulas, functional wizard, how to use, how to you take the help of functional wizard. Average, minimum, maximum, count, count A, round, integer, nested functions, names and cell ranges, mixed cell references and also here we will also see how to use the uh, internal functions available in the Excel sheet, lookup function, date and time functions, then reports, how to use filters, password protecting the excel sheet with the password even I can protect it some of the columns as well most of the people if you are using uh, if you are a salaried person and if you are using a tax calculation by the famous name Right. So if you are using that, you can see how he has blocked certain rows, etc. So we can see that as well. Certain columns, I can block it. All those, I can show it over here. Linking multiple sheets, that is one formula can be applied from taking the data from another sheet. That is also possible. Any update to that sheet, automatically update the report sheet. So in reporting, this is used. Linking between Word, Excel, PPT, you can also link the Excel sheet to the PowerPoint, Excel sheet to the Word, etc. Lookup, VLOOKUP, very important component. HLOOKUP, VLOOKUP, LOOKUP, count if. So these four things are very, very important for data analysis. Comparing two sheets, I want to compare the data in one sheet is available in the data in the second sheet. And I want the columns to be mapped with the data of the first sheet with this. 
all those things we can do it with VLOOKUP and horizontal lookup. We'll see that as well. That's a very core advanced feature and as well used in our day-to-day -day activities extensively. Reporting. So pivoting the tables, it's again a, I'm reporting a consolidation of some figures. Say I have a data, everyday data, I want monthly uh, consolidation. I can use the nested if. I can use a pivot table. So pivot tables are used for that. And then character functions, date functions, age calculations, consolidating of data. Consolidation is majorly the pivot tables is mainly for the consolidations. Data validation is my data is right. These informations we can see it under uh, data analysis. Then macros, how to use macros, how to create macros. Using recording, using your own script, you can do it in both the ways. It's a VBS program, it's a visual basic program. Uh, we are not covering complete visual basic here, it's only an introduction to the uh, macros. It uses object references of Excel sheet. We will help you how it has been done. So develop the worksheet using those formulas, how we use that. So in develop the worksheet, we try to do it with a, a simple VBS file. I will open a uh, Excel file, say, I will try to code it in the VBS, that VBS file will enter the data in the Excel file. Excel as an object. How do we do that? Special operations right between sheets, uh, linking worksheets and consolidating the sheet, import link from other applications, create, use and modify styles. So all this information, so of course print features we can see provided we have a printer connected to your machine. Graphic operations, basically charts, how the charts are created, etc. These are all some of the Excel sheet, advanced topics, we felt it is important. There may be certain topics which we will take as we go, uh, based on the real requirement of the exercises, the lab that we take. So it may not be spelled out in this content, but we may take those as well. In case you feel there are certain important things that you feel that is to needs to be covered, you can always send us a mail and we will cover those topics as well if time permits. Right? So we will not give more time to the basics of Excel sheet. We will directly get into the uh, advanced topics, so called advanced topics. Right? So with that, we will start our session. In case if you have a question, you can always, there is a question, you can always type your questions and I will answer those questions as I feel appropriate. It may not be immediately as you type it. I may allocate some time for answering the questions. So during the time I answer the set of questions that I received in that period. Right? So feel free to interrupt any time as you feel by putting your questions. We are just starting the session. And good evening to all of you and good morning to some of you. Right? With this, we will start our Excel sheet. So, before I go to the Excel sheet, there are some other available Excel, because Excel sheet is a paid one. You need to pay for the Excel, Microsoft Excel. The equivalent of this is Apache Open Office. Apache has taken over this Open Office. It was a Sun product initially. So, Open Office is equally acceptable in the market. Open Office is ORG is the file extension generally for Open Office. So in that Open Office it includes Word, PowerPoint, etc. CALC CAL is the version of Open Office. The current version is listed in the Excel, this sheet that you are seeing now. GNumeric is another product and I, I, this is also an open source product. Open source Apache Open Office and GNumeric are open source product and the current version of that product is 1.9. Right? So in this session, uh, you can only type, you cannot talk to me now. I have muted all your 
uh, mice so from my side otherwise it will become clumsy any questions you put it in the questioner I'll answer it as I feel otherwise we cannot progress in our class my email ID is available in this uh, go to webinar panel you can use that mail ID for taking the session I'll be taking Excel 2007 because that is mostly used by most of the people in fact I'm in my office I am using only Excel 2007 so I'll take it from Excel 2007 so there is no feature wise there is no major changes from 2007 to Excel 2013 chart and other uh, uh, features has there is a good amount of changes in the charts the way the charts are represented that is the speed of the chart etc that is all very good in Excel 2013 as well all other features day to day features are all same right so whoever is having Excel 2013 you can go ahead and use the 2013 right first is Excel sheet why it is talked about why everybody uses Excel one it is a spreadsheet they this is how it is started with Excel Excel as file it is way back in uh, MS DOS version of Excel MS DOS had that is the first Excel it came up that Excel and today's Microsoft Excel 2007 has a lot of differences so spreadsheet is what is you generally called in the uh, terms it is a you can put a rows into columns so the data can be put it in rows and columns so some people uses it for address address book they use the excel sheet especially your parents if they are comfortable they may maintain all their addresses in the excel sheet why it is used in excel sheet because i can convert it as a i want to send an invitation to all my address list i can send i can do that as well so one letter in a word document merge the excel sheet data into the word document your letter is ready for all the people the same content to all the people i want to send i can do that with excel sheet sorry excel with the help of word document so these are all some of the advantages of uh, excel sheets since it has a rows and columns i can on any columns i can do a sorting I want all the people who are residing at Bangalore, I want to take the list, I can get that list as well. So that kind of benefits I get it from Excel sheet which I cannot get it from so called Word document or Notepad or any other uh, data management system. When to use is the very important question. Wherever you want to track, wherever you want to analyze something, Excel sheet is the best option quantitative analysis in a terms of so called uh, process terms industry process terms we always talk about quantitative I cannot say good bad better I cannot use those words in the quality terms so in quality terms they always expect some value to it so that I can compare I can take a decision on that that is available with wherever you want to do that kind of an analysis spreadsheet or excel sheet is in a, one of the options excel is the proprietary word of microsoft excel spreadsheet is a common word used for this so it, it is applicable whether you are using open office g numeric or microsoft excel these are all the common products available how to use effectively this is where we are into now when to use you know it what is spreadsheet you know it rows and columns how to use effectively this is where we are into effectivity is what we are going to learn here with advanced concepts where sometimes we pain to do some comparison or to do some consolidation without changing the original data without changing the original structure how to do it is what we are going to see right so these are all what will start our today's session with if you have any questions, you can always put your questions in the questionnaire, right? And I'll feel free to ask any questions. Don't feel shy, right? 
So, is this webinar recorded? Yes, this webinar is recorded and we will publish this recorded content and then we will send an email and you can all use that email a link to view the recorded session. I'll, initially the recorded session may not be splitted that means as I take the class it, all the content will be available as it is. Later we'll modify the content. Modify means we'll cut and paste the content. Only the relevant topics we'll try to make it topic wise and we'll try to give that topic wise content. We'll try our we'll do our best to do that. As it is, we'll give the entire content as it is now. It's a one hour session and 